And this is a cracking read. As always, as always, I think it's brilliant that you both do your own things. Yeah, I think that's really important. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I think I wouldn't want to just be someone's sidekick. No, 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 absolutely not. Cheating, lying and double-crossing, I think, is what we're talking about here, isn't it? We are, <laughs> we are. It's uh, basically, in short, it's about a woman who hears rumours that her best friend's husband is cheating on her and she doesn't want to just say anything without knowing whether it's true or not. Right. So she sets out to find out if it's true. She persuades her assistant to try and seduce him to see what happens and, of course, it all spirals out of control. Oh, reading it... And again, with, with all of your books, you just think, I want to see it on the telly. Is that something that might happen? Is that something that, because, you, you know, it, it, it just would work. I hope so, yeah, I hope so. I think because of my TV background, I always write exactly. a bit with half an eye on that. And they've all, all my books have been optioned at right. one time or another and you get very excited and it nearly happens and then <laughs> it doesn't happen. And then someone else will option it. So a couple of them are under option sure. at the moment and I'm really hoping this one, someone might pick this one. No, I can, I can, I get it either as a TV series or, or, or as a movie, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and the thing is, you know, you can do the LA lifestyle. We saw you, you scrub <laughs> up beautifully. We saw you on the red carpet oh, there. I can do Did, it for a couple of days. I know, it must be great though, Jane. To, that's not your life. No. That's just a part of your life. But it's great to sort of parachute in, do that and parachute out. It is, it's lovely. Yeah. I used to find it a bit intimidating, all the dressing up, and I've decided now to just enjoy it. Completely. So you have a day when someone makes you look as good as you can possibly look and you do some crazy things and then you come home and it's all back to normal. What's not to like? What's not to like? But home is very much here, isn't very it? Very much so, Very, yeah. very much so. Yeah. I mean, this is, where, this is where you guys are. This is where you're both very creative. Where do you write? Do you have a wee sort of sanctuary where you actually sit and write? I do. I have a little tiny office at home, but actually right. I'm very bad and I do tend to sit on the sofa with my laptop on my lap. But I think that's fine. Whatever works. It is fine. My back hates me, but... Of course, because you're, you're hunched. <laughs> that's the problem, isn't it? Because the thing is, the thing is about writing as well, um, it's a job. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to put in the hours. You can't just dabble. You know, you yeah. don't produce a book like this by sort of thinking, oh, well, I'll write a few wee words now and then I'll waft off and, you know, go shopping. No, you really have to keep you, on top of it because otherwise do. you can suddenly realise you're terribly behind. And also mm -hmm. I think you need to... Because it's a craft like anything else, so you need to keep working at it, sure. you, know, you need to write something every day, really, even if it's not on your latest No, book. I think that's very, very true. And you've got to be really disciplined about it as well. As disciplined as you can make yourself. I know, be. it's yeah. quite hard. It's quite hard when you have to jet off to LA, I suppose, but, but I think it works really well. Do you have your ideas, do you, like, I mean, for example, when you were away in Los Angeles or you're just going out shopping, are you always like a magpie thinking yeah. of ideas? I am, and I'm always, um, I quiz my friends relentlessly about they now won't tell me anything about what's happening in their own lives, okay. but I quiz them about what might be happening in their friends' lives or their <laughs> families' lives. And I, I'm that person that lurks in cafes and listens to everyone's conversations. And But that's how you get your material. Yeah. Absolutely how you get it. You know, you and your man, you've been together since, what, 82? Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Well, do you know what's really good about that? You know how he's rocketed to stardom. Um, but you were there during the, the struggle. You know, you were there when it was maybe not going to work. You don't know. And I think that's really important. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he didn't really even start working in this kind of industry till he was 40, so... That's incredible, yeah, we've been together Did you know time. he was in a band, wasn't he? Wasn't he was, he briefly of... in a band, yeah. because yeah. I know he's a massive fan of David Bowie, obviously, and the yeah. two of them worked together in extras, which yeah. was so, and showed Bowie's sense of humour absolutely brilliant. And I, and I remember when uh, Ricky Gervais was in a sort of... It wasn't a tribute band at all, but I think there was a little bit of David Bowie in that band. Yes, <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, I, I think, think there was a bit. Bowie was one of his heroes, of definitely. Course, definitely of course. It's so that. sad, isn't it? Dreadful. Absolutely so, so but sad. But very dignified. What an incredibly dignified... If you're going to go, to go, that's yeah. the way to go. And leaving behind such an amazing yeah. legacy. I mean, a, a, a remarkable legacy. It's ab absolutely incredible. When Ricky did a thing like he did with the Golden Globes, and he's always really cheeky, and he pushes it as far as he can, you wonder what else was left out. Was there anything left out? I can't, I can't even... No, I'm not, I can't even go there. Yes, there was a lot... <laughs> you know, maybe don't want to know in case we get sued. He spent the was... whole week saying, I'm going to say this, and I would go, no, 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 no. Please, no, don't. Please so, don't. He was just teasing me, I think. But some of it, I think he probably was considering... But saying. he gets away with it, though, Jean. He gets away with it. Well, I, I think he's got huge affection for him. I think it's good, though, to burst that... Celebrity so do I. bubble. I think we all hold actors in such ludicrously high regard compared right. to people that do other jobs, really. Because they are only pretending. They're only pretending, exactly. You know. They're not saving lives.